What's up guys and welcome back to the John Q channel. Thanks so much for watching and thanks for supporting. In this video today, I'm showcasing once again the OA2311 by OA Defense. Now, one thing that I do wanna to touch on real quick is that OA is not short for Oracle Arms. It's just a nod to their past of where they've been and where they come from. So when you hear me say OA, I mean OA Defense, the OA2311, and that's what I'm showcasing in today's video, the OA2311. Not too long ago, I did post a video showcasing kind of the first unboxing and first shots and first look to me on the channel and me shooting the OA2311. The one thing that I don't showcase in that video is the things that I've put on this 2311 right now, which would be the optic and of course the weapon light. And the optic that I have on here is called the Rock by Gideon Optics. And of course we do have the weapon light that's Surefire X300. And of course we have the Gideon Optics and I've been running these optics for about three, three and a half to four months now and nothing but good things. The reticle has not moved, it's not shut off on its own and it's, it's lasted quite a while. Just a quick plug here, if you like the optics that you see on this channel or you want to get this optic for yourself, go to gideonoptics.com and use my discount code JQ10 for 10% off your entire order. Now, MSRP price for the OA2311 without the optic and light is about $2,300. And right now I'm partnering with an awesome company to give you guys something like this, where you, the viewer, have a chance to enter and win this OA2311. So if you want a chance to win this OA2311, all you have to do is this, follow these instructions on the screen right now. Once you go to the website, go.getentertowin.com slash JohnnyQ, fill out the information and then buy collectible. When you buy collectible, you get a chance to win this OA2311. And every time you purchase a collectible, it's one more entry to try to win this. But like I said, you better hurry because this ends May 31st at 1159 PST. And later in June, we will announce the winner of the OA2311. Best of luck to anybody who wins this amazing, amazing piece. So, best of luck. One of the things that I do wanna harp on with the OA2311 is, is this. The way it feels in your hands. Now, if you guys know me, you know the channel, and you know my videos, you know that I love all things 2011. But when I first saw this pistol, I fell in love with this platform. Now, it's not a new platform. This derives from the SIG P320 line. And of course, it's compatible with the SIG P320 magazines, which we have here, but of course, it's OA Defense uh, magazine. So if you have those P320 magazines, they will fit in flawlessly. The way that this OA2311 to me, it feels home. For me personally, the way a pistol feels in my hands has to work. Now you're like, duh, like you have to shoot it. When I'm holding the OA2311, I feel at home. When I go to present, it just feels like it fits like a glove, like it was made for me and my pistol grip. And that could be different for a lot of people. Like I do like the way Glocks feel and other people just don't like the feeling of Glocks. And it could be the same with Staccato, it could be the same with Sig, what have you, whatever gun manufacturer you wanna put in there, it's all very different. But I think because it has a longer barrel length, to me that just fits better. I, I feel like that's just more my style versus, you know, something that's really compact. and. I do carry a compact pistol for my everyday carry. And even that, you know, still takes some work and practice, but this being a full size gun, I mean, built for military and for full duty use, that's kind of where I come from. And that to me just fits a whole lot better in my hands and the way it shoots. And even just now, just dry firing. It feels that much better because of, again, I said this in the last video, but you have the ambidextrous controls and of course the gas pedal on both sides. Like that with my non-dominant left thumb there, the way I present, which helps me grip the gun better and shoot a whole lot better. But like I said, it's different for everybody. So you do have to try to go out and get this in your hands, shoot it and just see what I mean. Of course, adding the optic and the weapon light does add weight to it and you can definitely feel it. Um, I do not have the extended mag, but of course, if you added an extended mag with all the ammo in that mag, it'd be a lot heavier. But overall, it does feel even beefier, especially, and I do talk about this in that video that I posted, the pistol grip is beefy in and of itself, which I'm a big fan of, which kind of marries this five inch barrel and this pistol grip together, which make it seem like it's something that the Terminator would use, maybe? 
Like it just, it feels and looks super tactical. And so I'm just, I'm a big fan of this setup right here. To be honest, if I was back in law enforcement, I would highly consider this as a top contender to everyday carry as a police officer. I probably wouldn't get the extended magazine approved by the department, but even then still looks sweet. I love the very big flared magwell. But for me, if I was back in law enforcement, I would love to carry something like this. And it's honestly rated for law enforcement and military use. So that's also, it's got that going for it too. So now what I'm gonna do either this week or sometime early next week is go out to the range and put another 500 rounds through this gun. And I'll bring you guys along too, I'll film that. And as of now, there have been no malfunctions, no misfeeds, nothing of the sort. And I'm just excited to put another five to 600 rounds through this thing to see just how good it does function when you're just putting hundreds of rounds through it on like within a given hour. So I do think that it's going to perform pretty well and pretty flawlessly just based off all the other YouTube videos I've seen on this, on this gun. And for me, I have 100% confidence that this will run flawlessly and will not give me any hiccups. So now the question I have for you guys is this. If you saw this setup at your local gun shop, would you pick it up for 2,300 bucks? I know some people out there might think this is a little too rich or too expensive of a pistol, but once you start getting up there in, in price with these kinds of pistols, I feel like you start to realize that every little thing that these companies are doing to these guns to making them duty ready, military ready, or race ready, you start to see it and it starts to improve the shooting ability that you have on the range. So yeah, I'm loving this OA 2311 by OA Defense. I think it's a freaking awesome race gun and it just, it feels so good in the hands. It's just big and heavy and girthy. That's what she said. And just feels really good. So let me know what you guys think about it. Would you run this if you had the chance? Uh, would, would it replace your war everyday carry potentially? Some people like big guns like this. I don't know, what do you guys think? With that being said, you guys, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for supporting and I will catch you in the next Johnny Q video. Peace. This feels, feels so good. So, so, so good.